Hello lovely people, my name is Emma and today I'm doing a really exciting announcement on this channel. Uh, I'm announcing the very first readathon I have ever hosted. So this is the announcement for Springathon, which is a nature writing and nature inspired readathon that is going to be happening for two weeks in May. The dates of the readathon are from the 4th to the 17th of May and the idea is that this is a readathon to focus on trying to read as much nature writing as you possibly can. Uh, there is only one real main challenge for it, which is basically to read one non-fiction nature writing book during the entire two weeks, but we do also have a series of prompts which are to guide your reading and to give you some ideas of some challenges that you can complete. Now I'm not the only host for this readathon, it's also being hosted by the wonderful Natalie from Curious Reader and Juliana from the blog The Blank Garden. I will link everything down below and in fact just check out the description box down below for tons of information about this. There are five prompts in total, they are plant, animal, water, bird and travel. Uh, I have done a little bullet journal spread as well which I will show you in a second but the PDFs for that both the outline version that you can colour in yourself and indeed the full coloured version um, will be linked down below. So like I said I've done this uh bullet journal spread that you can have access to and it's got space in front of the um, the main areas of it so that you can write in whatever book that you're doing for each prompt. So this one links up to bird, that one's travel, we've got water, animal and uh, plant there. Obviously you don't have to use this but I thought I'd do a little bullet journal spread for you. Uh, there is also going to be some other challenges on things like Instagram and Twitter. So there is a Twitter for this just literally Springathon uh, which will be linked down below and I'll be hosting some reading sprints as well as sharing lots of things um, on the Twitter itself. Uh, Natalie and Juliana are both very active on Instagram, both their Instagram handles will be down below and they are doing a photo a day challenge for the whole two weeks which I'll be getting involved in as well but they are the ones hosting it because I really am not involved too much on Instagram. We're also going to be creating a tag for this readathon which will help to give some recommendations and kind of talk about nature writing in general so that should be going out hopefully in my next video if not maybe the video after so do keep an eye out for that and obviously feel free to do it or indeed do any recommendations videos if you are a big nature writer. Now we figured there'd be a few questions about this which I'm just going to answer now. Uh, the way that a book can fit in with a prompt is nice and simple. It can either be a book about that particular thing or it can reference that particular thing on the cover or in the title. So if you're not someone who's that bothered about reading about plants for example, you can fit a book into that criteria just as long as it has a plant somewhere on the cover of it and lots of nature writing in general has these kinds of things on them anyway. The idea was that these prompts were just to help kind of give a little bit of guidance to people's reading and to give a little bit more of a challenge aspect to the readathon, which a lot of people like, but they're not supposed to be constricting in any real way. So if you're not someone who reads a lot of bird books or plant books or whatever is your kind of subcategory that you like to read within nature writing, don't feel like you're forced to go pick up a book that you're not necessarily very interested in just to fit in with the prompts. On that note, um, obviously we haven't included insect in this particular one, but I would consider those just like free to fit easily under either plant or animal. And you can read fiction for this readathon. The only actual like challenge to officially be taking part in the readathon is to read one non-fiction book that is nature writing based in the entire two weeks. So if you want to use fiction for half of your prompts that's completely fine. The uh, the spirit of the readathon is to be trying to increase nature writing and reading books around nature um, and the hope is that this will be a good opportunity for people who maybe are a little bit more hesitant to read non-fiction um, to use this as an opportunity to try it out in a readathon with a little, where there's lots of recommendations and kind of a community to get involved with um, but without feeling like they have to commit to the whole thing. So if you're someone who is on the fence about non-fiction uh, and you want to get into it as like a, a reader or you're someone who doesn't read a lot of nature writing but reads a lot of non-fiction this could be a really nice way of introducing yourself to the topic. Um, we thought right now was a really nice time to try and do this kind of thing because you know a lot of us are inside so it's a great opportunity to read and try and have a bit of escapism out of uh, our houses and into the wide world through books. Um, nature writing I find and a lot of people find very very soothing as a topic so it's nice and relaxing and quite calming as a reading experience and it was a nice way of celebrating spring and who knows if a miracle happens and we are out of our houses by the 4th of May which I really really doubt but if we are then it can be a lovely way of celebrating the fact that we're allowed back out into the spring world. 
world. So just to reiterate again, it is Springathong, it's happening from the 4th to the 17th of uh, May and all of the links to everything important will be down below. Um, I really hope that you take part, um, feel free to share this video or, or let other people know, feel free to make recommendations, feel free to get involved in any way that you want um, and I will be putting out a lot of content about this over the next few weeks, tons of recommendations videos from me myself and obviously sharing any fantastic content that you create. Have a wonderful reading week and I will chat to you soon. Bye guys!